What's up guys? Welcome back to Grunt Nation. Today we'll be disassembling and reassembling the Glock 26. So the first thing you want to do is make sure it is unloaded and there is no round in the chamber. Then you want to pull the trigger, pull the slide back. There's these two notches down here and you want to pull them down at the same time. The slide will just move forward. You can then pull the slide off. You remove the spring, remove the barrel. And what I have is a little hex key. There's a little tiny, like a sleeve right under this. You wanna push that down. Then you wanna hold, like press down, and then this will be able to pop out. And make sure to take this out slowly because there's springs back here that might fly out on you and then that'll come out come on get out of there there we go so i guess you yeah, just pull it right there and then that'll come out and then for this you want to press down on this circular one i know i don't know all the terminology but yeah you'll press down on that and then this will slide out of there and you can pull that up and then that is the slide for this part there are three pins one two and three so what you're going to use i still use the hex key you'll push down on that pin and it'll just pop right out and then this pin pops right out, little squeeze. And then sometimes this pin right here is a little difficult. And so how you combat that is the slide release. You wanna wiggle that around while you're pushing it and then it'll just pop right out. And then you're able to start pulling everything out sure just flop everywhere yeah if you guys want to switch the mag release to the other side what I use is a little flathead screwdriver and inside there's a little little wire down there it's kind of hard to see but um, what you want to do is find that wire. There you go, there you see it. Find that and push it to the right and then it'll pop out. And then, so if you have a pair of needle nose, you can stick it down in there, grab it real quick. And then it'll pop out and it's just this little tiny rod. And then this pops out and you can switch it around to whatever side you want. I'm a lefty, so I like keeping it where my index finger, no, my index, my uh, pointy finger will release the mag. And so to put it all back together, so take the needle nose, put it back in there. You got to kind of press hard a little bit and then you'll use the little screwdriver again to push it back into place sometimes it takes a few times but you'll get it see it just popped into place now you want to put everything back how it was that just sets right in there this set this will set right in there and then this will go right in between those two and now we can start putting the pins back in what I usually do is I put this top one on first so it'll align with everything 
make everything a little easier. And then we want to get this pin, put it in there. And sometimes this slide release will get in the way, so you kind of want to maneuver that hole. And then get that will just fit right back in there. And then the last pin will go right back here. Kind of force that sucker in there. And level that out. And then here comes this part. <clears throat> so what you want to do is put that back in there. Push down, place that back in there, and then this will go back in the bottom, push it all the way down, this goes in there, and what you want to do is hold that spring down, and you can slide this plate over it, and then you want to use this little hex and push that spring down to go over the whole thing and then you put your barrel back in put your spring on line up the slide and there you go that is how you disassemble and reassemble the Glock 26. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.